All right. Hoping that I got more video settings. I'm reading all this. I have to get the video settings sorted out now. Hopefully OBS stops being a little bitch at me. Backlash 02. Let's go. First pay-per-view for Maven. Actually, not really, because he's been pay before, but yeah, our first pay-per-view. Oh, and we're not booked. Sick. So Hurricane and Kidman and Rico and Tajiri in a fatal four-way. Then a TLC title, Tornado Tag. Lance Storm Christian against Bubba and Spike Dudley. Then a ladder match between Van Dam and Undertaker, which I assume is the undisputed title. Maybe? That was what those to have a ladder match for. And we're not booked. Why are we not booked? We won all our matches. That's a fucking badass set too, by the way. It is the best set. We're undefeated. We're not even booked on this card. Let's go start a fight with someone backstage. Let's go. Where's Vince's office? Let's go complain. Oh, Raven. Fucking come here, Raven. Oh, he's drinking coffee. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hi, Raven. Oh, oh, he spilled it all over himself. But no coffee, you came. You know what? We're gonna fight. I'm not gonna apologize to you. Fuck you. It's fine. <laughs> Let's have a match. This is that pay per view match? Oh, backstage. Can I, can I move backstage? Like, can I go backstage? Can I leave? So, yeah. Oh yeah, I should take them to the ring, have an actual pay-per-view match. So we're having a fucking backyard brawl with Raven. Oh, exactly. Oh shit, roll through pin. Damn it. Irish whip. Oh no, I missed. The highest summit in the WWE. Yep. Can I bonk you? Oh yes! You can spray him with it. Yeah, buddy. Right, let's eat. Let's flip. Okay, let's uh... Can I Ganto bomb him on the fucking cement? Oh! <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Let's go to the train station. Come on, Raven. Follow me. Oh god, can I get hit by a car? Let's coax him onto the road. Come on. Ooh. Suplex on the road. Oh, Brain Buster! Oh, we didn't get hit though. Oh, they stopped for you. It's nice of them. Oh, I should into the car. Let's go to the, uh, go to the train station. Come on, Raven. <laughs> We're leading him everywhere. This isn't even like a hardcore title match or anything. This is just a match, you know? Ooh. Train. He got hit by a moving train. Oh, God! I did not know that could break. That's so cool. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, we're working, we're working on a train. Oh, reverse DT. Ganzo bomb! In a train! Can I, like, fucking Irish whip him up? Oh, yeah. Come on, train, take off. Does it not take off with us in it? I could have sworn it did. Drop kick up the train carriage! Damn it, I could have just wanted to take us to WF New York, like, we can go and fight there. I guess not. Oh, good counter. Oh god, on my head. Getting some strong style stuff. We're getting some King's Road shit here. Oh no, it does! Oh shit! <laughs> it just took a really, really long time. Oh my god, we're going. <laughs> the ref didn't get on board. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Alright, where's the actual entrance to this place? Over here? Oh, let's give the fans a show. Let's go, let's go to WF New York. Let's go to the world. Let's give them a show. What the hell was that? I'm gonna break it. Little WWE logo. Can I grab it? His weapon? No. Can I do- Oh! Suicide dive! Suicide dive by Maven. It's a shame he didn't succeed in taking his own life. Can I get up there so I can just like, do a moonsault off of it? No. Oh. Big clothesline. <laughs> this slams on him. Oh no. Fuck you. No. <laughs> the greatest war. Neckbreaker! I want to get back up that stage. Oh. Oh my god! Moon off from the stage! <laughs> Into the pit in one! Two! Three! Oh, what a finish. What a finish. <laughs> I was so hoping I could do that. Moon saw off the stage. And in the end... So, Tajiri is the new Cruiserweight Champion. Bubba Ray and Spike are the tag jets, and Undertaker just won the Intercontinental title from RVD. In a ladder match. So Undertaker is an Intercontinental and Undisputed Champion. <laughs> Why does he need both belts? That's so ridiculous. I thought Abby was shooting for the Undisputed, but no. Bubba Ray is now our biggest guy. Oh no, Big Show still is, but Bubba Ray's got a tag belt. We have champions on our roster now, finally. Looking at the titles, you've got that. He holds both of them. Tag champs, European champ, Cruiserweight, Hardcore. But Tajiri is also on our show. He's got a title. I guess you can imagine in your head, um, maybe the maybe the ladder match was for both belts. <laughs> okay, so we got Tajiri. So the first match is gonna be Albert, Scotty, and Devon in a hardcore triple threat. And us first Tajiri, then Hardcore Holly vs Rhino in a steel cage match. Over on Raw, Edge and Hurricane beat Regal and Henry. Rock beat Jericho in a last man standing match, and Undertaker beat Booker T. Two against the cruiserweight champ Tajiri. Yeah, I wonder why we weren't booked on that last fucking show. Vince. The King of the Ring is coming up next month. If a superstar has more than 70 superstar points, the superstar will be qualified to enter. Ooh. Ooh, Jim Ross. Hey Maven. This match, this month we'll be heading to England for programming. Can you make it? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we'll go to England. We'll win the European title off William Regal, that's gonna happen. What happened? What do you mean, JR? I have a little story to tell you. I was doing some shopping at the local mall and this kid came up to me. He asked if he could get an autograph. Oh, that's nice. Well, I don't blame the kid. What kid doesn't like me? Who doesn't like Tajiri? Tajiri's fucking based. Anyways, I was busy, but I was still talking to the kid. I said, so do you want my autograph, huh? And the kid said, no, can you get Maven's autograph for me? That's a sentence no one has ever said in the history of humanity. So, Tajiri, in perfect English, cut a promo. So a kid liked us more than him, and so now we're going to fight him. That seems like a logical reason for a match. Not. Oh fuck, it's Farouk. Is he going to say damn? I like when he does that. I like how his gimmick just became man who say damn. Hey Maven, what's up? One thing though, be careful about injury. I'll talk to you later. Is that a threat? Is Farouk threatening me? Farouk could attack me. Probably. Dang. Right, let's go find Vince so we can ask what our superstar points are. I wonder if we can get into this King of the Ring next month. He says, Dang. He says, Darn. That's unfortunate. Hey Maven, what can I do for you? What do you want? I'm really busy right now. How am I doing? 60. Fuck. That's all. 
We're not going to make it to the King of the Ring, are we? I went from 50 to 60, so maybe. Keep winning our matches. We're Maven, after all. I hate this camera. Let's go. So, opening match, Scotty, Devon, and Albert. Good on you, Albert. I'm glad Devon didn't win. Now we're going to face Cruiserweight Champ Tajiri. Maven's not a Cruiserweight, to my knowledge. Oh, Triple H. Uh, look at me with my denim jacket and my leather jacket. Uh. <laughs> So in Japanese, like, all their words will end with, uh, syllables. No, not syllables, vowels, because they don't have letters, they have syllabaries. So they all end with, like, vowel pair consonants. Uh, vowel consonant pairs, I can't fucking speak. Um, so Triple H, when he says words, he always ends them with the... With the vowel. Uh, maybe Triple H is just Japanese. Oh, something that'd be so funny if that was just, like, a one, two, three, straight up. Drop kick. Oh, if I Gonzo bomb to Jiri, that'd be insulting. Gonzo bomb. Oh, working the arm over again. Classic Maven. Big throwing suplex. A guy from Tough Enough. I love the suplexes that Maven does. He's a human suplex machine. And he got the roll up too. Two. Three. Oh, that was definitely a three count. Oh. Oh. Off the ropes. Here comes to Jiri. Good counter. Oh. It's like a New Japan main event. All these strike reversals. Oh! Oh, Maven! <laughs> Imagine if Maven went to Japan. Maven in the G1. Oh! Bang! Clothesline. Up top. Flying headbutt! Holy shit! Like Kakeshi did. I can't go into Japan if I'm stealing Honma's gimmick all the time. Oh, fuck. I love that roll-up, too. Just keep rolling him up. He'll eventually get tired of kicking out. <laughs> that wasn't very well-timed, but... Oh. Ref, you better wake up. Big suplex in pit. More break. Shit. Should have seen that coming. Oh, he's gonna do this thing. Down I go. Oh shit! Striking combination. Kick to the head. Oh. Did you hear the suplex? Come on, bitch. Oh. Oh, we're working a pretty good match here, you know. <sighs> Close line, I missed everything. Oh, spin heel kick. Up top. Headbutt door. Off the ropes. Oh. Work him over. Pin, 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 nope. Pin, yes! Roll up, look at that! Bridge, one, two, th three, yes. Fuck it, Tajiri. Alright, we beat Tajiri. As soon as that match ended, he went straight after Maven. Bastard. He is full of rage. Despite all his rage, he's still just a rat in a cage. And then Rhino beat Hardcore Holly in a cage match. Pretty mental.
Alright, what's next? Insurrection. We're going to England, baby. Oh, we're to William Regal. I hope that's a um, European title match. Tajiri Rico, probably a cruiserweight title match. And a steel cage match between Bubba and Spike against the Hardys. That's a fucking cool match. Do you remember Invasion 2001 where the Dudleys and the Hardys had their steel cage like tag title match? And Stacey Keebler was on the outside of the ring and she showed her ass to Nick Patrick to like make him give her the keys and she opened the cage. God, that was so good. We are facing Regal. Like, when I was a little kid and, like, Stacey showed her butt, I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, it was... Man, I had material for years. I remember seeing that just being like, oh my god. It's the greatest thing I'll ever see. I remember wanting to become a referee after that. I was like, I wish I was Nick Patrick. I think that's the first time in human history where someone had uttered the phrase, I wish I was Nick Patrick. Oh my god, it's Sean Stasiak. Because I really do wish I was uh, Nick Patrick in that situation. I liked when Stacey would just randomly show a butt to the camera. It's something that... Who are you talking to, man? Clint Stasiak is all about choices and the sounds and the voices that run through my head. Some may think it's wacky. <laughs> Others may think it's tacky. But it's not to be ignored. So is my sanity under attack? Is it mental fac faculties that I lack? That's just another day in the life of Planet Stasiak. I never want to speak to Sean Stasiak because I usually play as him. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Stasiak was butt was a formative part of my childhood. Come on, Rico, you can win this. Fuck. Oh my god, we might, we might get a belt here. We might win the European title. The European title has some significance to me. Like, I had a bunch of toy belts when I was a kid. Um, like, like, replica plastic belts and shit. And the very first one I ever got was, um, uh, the European title. Uh, for Christmas of 2000 and, I'm gonna say, one? Diddly. Ding dong diddly. Actually, because so it has a, w, has a WF logo, so that's been 2001. Dang. Tongue punch on my fart box! Oh, that's a great camera angle. <laughs> Just right up both of our bosses. The boss is the area between the balls and the arse. The boss, in case anyone doesn't know. Oh, shit. Oh, the knees from Regal. Hope we become a European champion, Maven. I like uh, SmackDown vs. Raw as well, because that game you get to like, just pick up all the divas and just be like, yo, butts. So it's all like, back in the day, all the divas were just bikini contests and shit. Pretty great. Now we have like, women's wrestling. <laughs> Who wants that? Everyone should have bikini contests, even the men. We should have lingerie pillow fights with William Regal vs. Maven. WrestleMania 20, the Playboy... Uh, lingerie, like the evening gown match where they just take off their gowns and fight in their lingerie. Man, what a great contest that was. The, the continuous near fall between Stacey Keebler and Tori Wilson. That's some Kino wrestling right there. It's like... That puts like Kawada and Misawa to shame. The, the high-risk crossbody that Tori does. <laughs> Alright, Maven, let's go. Okay. Sick. Methodically working over the limbs of William Regal. Get it? Because he's very regal. He's English. Therefore, he has to, he's obviously royal. I have every, like, English person has the gimmick of being an aristocrat, or, like a snobby person, even though half of England is filled with soccer hooligans that beat your head in because you go for the wrong team. Roll up. Oh fuck you, you fucking Liverpool fan! Oh fucking hell, you hold your head all day. That's what English people sound like. They're not all like, mm, yes, I drink tea and eat crumpets, yes. I quite like that, mm. No, they're all, I'll bash your fucking head in, mate! Yeah. Ever watch the young ones? That's what all of England is probably like. 
And no, American viewers, I'm not English. The accent you hear at the moment is Australian. We are the retarded English. Like, legitimately, our accent comes around because of the fact that when the first settlers came here, they were always so drunk, and their accent was, like, so slurred heavily. It's literally British, but with, like, a slurred accent. I wish I was making that up. No, I don't. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, dropkick. Okay, why not? Here we go. Big suplex time. Right on the neck. High risk maneuver. Two. Oh, no. He kicked out. He no-sold my finish. What's your finish so I can kick out of it? Says Regal. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Come on, Maven. Drop kick. Oh, yes. I love that drop kick. Hook of the leg. Center of the ring. Nowhere to go. Oh, shoulder up. This was in Japan, they'd be like, oh, like that noise they all make when they mark out. And then they'll be stomping their feet, like, tuh, 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 tuh. you know what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go. Under the knee. Dave Meltzer gives this match eight stars. DDT! It means the end. <laughs> According to Jack Grubbitz, Gonzo Bomb. Just fucking manhandling Regal now. Oh shit. I spoke too soon. Good takedown. Here we go. Military press from Maven. Down. Power slam. Look over the leg. And they do the starfish pin. The starfish position usually means they're ready to be pinned. Like, you know. You know the one. Oh. Headbutt! That, that, that position. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Drop kick! Um. Oh no, he counted me. Off the ropes, another big drop kick coming up. Nope. Oh, suplex! Suplex! And then another one! Bang! Three amigos! Two! Four! <laughs> he kicked down the last moment! But I still won! You're trying to WrestleMania 6 Hogan me. Didn't work. I'm Maven. European champion Maven, yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah. I did it. Yes, we got the European Championship. Maven, Maven, Maven. We can get Jeff Hardy as higher. We can get William Regal as higher. Moves nine. Create parts four. Or we can get the Insurrection Arena. Um, I'm not going to be doing like singles. We should. I should grab some moves because I want to like edit Maven's move set later on, like, and make him a superstar, a charisma machine. Grab some moves. Okay, I'm, I'm considering like later on in the career editing his move set and stuff. And the Hardys are your tag champs now. And his entrance and his animations. I think with that we'll end it for this episode of SmackDown. Shut your mouth. Next time we'll come back and play for the rest of May probably. European champ. <laughs>